Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I'm gonna showcase how we connect to an API using Spring Boot with Java, and in this case, just a very simple example where we're using a REST template. But firstly, when we are using Spring, in this case, we're using Maven to add all our dependencies. We then mostly need one dependency for this REST template, which is the Spring Web dependency. So we have like the Spring Boot starter, the Spring Boot test, which is the basic Spring Boot, but we need this specific dependency for the Spring Web components, which then add this REST template, which we then simply used, creating a REST template, REST template, equal new REST template. We then have a string URL, which in this case is for cat facts, which if I just showcase, is just a simple public API where I get a random fact about a cat each time, randomized. Symbol Jaguars are the only big cats that don't roar. And then the length of this fact, and we then get a bunch of different random facts. We then simply have this URL, we then pass this REST template or use this REST template to get a response. So we have a response entity containing a string response, which is equal to our REST template dot get for your entity, where we then pass the URL and the fact that we'd like it to be returned as a string for our response entity. So in this case, we're going to have our JSON object being returned as a string. And now we just simply get our response and we get the body. Because we can also get like the status code and a bunch of different stuff. But I'm just simply printing the body, which is the JSON object containing the cat fact in this case. And we also see when we run this, we get a few debugging information. For example, that we are calling HTTP call get to this URL. We get the fact that we accept some kind of text. We get a response code. So 200 okay. We also check the response code if we wanted to, but simply checking that everything's okay. And we then simply read the string. And in this case, we then print the string cats walk on their toes. And we can run it again and we get a new random fact. So as you can see, just using Spring Boot and specifically a Spring Web component or dependency, we're then able to use this REST template, which makes it very easy and very simple to simply get some basic information from a public REST API. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of the REST template with Spring and Java, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.